hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today is going to be my first ever story time video now i have a whole bunch of crazy ass stories that i want to tell but it's kind of like i'm a very bad storyteller i could never just get to the point you feel me not even just that but like i would i'm one of those people that would tell you a story but end up telling you a whole different story just because something happened in that story just crazy shit but today is going to be the story of my first ever high school crush slash boyfriend so i hope you guys enjoy it and in the end i have a little plot twist or whatever so stay tuned for that i hope you guys enjoy and keep on watching to find out what the fuck went down with my first high school crush <laughs> so let me give you guys a little bit of a background so the high school that i went to was not in my town that i live in my mom decided to send me to a totally different high school because the town that i live in is kind of it's just the education system is not that good so she ended up sending me to a different high school so going in there i didn't really know a lot of people i was definitely more on the shy side didn't really talk much i really just stayed to myself but that was not the type of people that i was interested in okay i liked the rough neck looking niggas you feel me like i was interested in those type of boys like hood boys okay I liked hood boys <laughs> so i remember it being my first day of school and you know on your first day of school everybody comes in trying to look fly and popping and extra or whatever so you know young chrissy came in with her hair straight because that was my signature look i had braces i was just i was just not cute i was not popping but i came into school and i remember walking out of science class which was my second class of the day i remember walking out of science class and I seen this boy walking out of the class opposite of my science classroom. So I'm walking out, mind you, it's crowded, it's mad people. But I see him and my eyes just go, Whoop. I said, who is that? So this boy, he came out, he had on, <laughs> he had on this gray sweater with like red stars over it. And I forgot what the words say, but I remember the banner that he had on. I just, listen, I remember certain details very vividly, but I remember what he had on. He had on some true religion jeans and he had dreads. So I said, that's going to be my man. Okay, he does not know it yet, but that is going to be my man. So ever since then, I was just plotting on him. Like, you feel me? So then I get to the end of the day and i get into my spanish class which was my eighth eighth period class of the day so i get in there and i see that he has spanish class with me so i'm like okay do you feel me okay so i get into the class and i see him looking at me and i'm looking at him but i'm not you know when you're trying to look at somebody but you're not trying to let them know that you're looking at them that was what was going on with me so i was just looking at him you feel me just like low-key like i look and then he look and then i turn away real quick like that type of thing so that was going on for like a couple of weeks to be honest and there was this girl that we both had that was mutual friends to both of us so i remember her coming up to me one day and she was she was a little bit more on the loud side you feel me she didn't really care and i like i said i was more quiet back then so she came up to me and she was like um oh let me get your number da, 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 you popping da, 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 whatever the case may be so i gave her my number and me and her started becoming real real close so i always used to see him with her so i'm like bro like low-key i think that she, I, in my head i kind of thought that she was trying to set me up with him but i wasn't sure so i'm like hmm okay so me and her started texting outside of school and we just became real good friends you feel me and she never once mentioned the boy so I'm like, you know what? Maybe she genuinely just wanted to be my friend. I don't know. So whatever. That happened a week before my um, 15th birthday. I remember I told you how we both had that Spanish class together. So I asked the teacher to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom and I guess he came out. The, he came out of the classroom to go to the bathroom right after I did. So we was both down in the basement, the basement of the high school because it has bathrooms down there. So we both walk in, right? And so he said, <laughs> thinking about it now is so funny. Like, I don't know why, but it cracks me up. So he was like, I was walking in front of him, right? 
so this is me and then that's him right behind me so he's like so can i get your instagram or your kick because back then kick was popping so everybody had kick accounts so i'm like oh yeah like i'll give you my instagram you feel me but i was super shy so i didn't really talk much i'm just like giggling or whatever i'm like yeah so i ended up giving him my instagram and that was it literally that was it he didn't hit me up for like that whole week but i used to see him in class every day but it was still kind of low-key awkward so then my birthday came around so i guess he seen me posting that it was my birthday on instagram so he dm'd me and was like oh happy birthday like how old are you turning so i told him my age and then we started talking getting to know each other and it turns out that he's actually he was actually from the same town that i was from so that also kind of made me feel a little bit better because i was like you know what he's from the same town is me you know and i never seen this boy around before like this is crazy like this must be fake trying to put us together type shit so boom basically we ended up talking and you know back then you start relationships off like that so we started going out on my birthday back in 2014 2014 we started going out so yeah that was literally my boyfriend after that one little conversation on instagram it was my boyfriend he was my boyfriend period that was it so we kind of had a low-key childish rela relationship back then so like we would see each other in school and it would be like giggles laughs but we wouldn't really talk deep about anything but we would text a lot like we were actually really cool but it was just weird as far as the relationship goes because i was young back then he was young we was both immature you know and he was one grade above me by the way so when i was a freshman he was a sophomore so yeah so that was going on for a little bit and then things just ended up not working out between us so we ended up cutting it off probably like three months after and yeah we went through a it was this is a whole thing why we broke up is for a whole different story because it was the craziest shit ever but um we ended up breaking up <laughs> and we went through like a couple months hating each other like i mean hating each other like i would not talk to him he would not talk to me it would really be beef but we all we both have mutual friends like all of my friends was his friends and all of his friends was my friends so it was kind of like really awkward to be around each other like we just hated each other and then we ended up becoming really 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 close friends after those like six months of us hating each other we ended up becoming close friends and yeah literally that's pretty much the background story of it but the twister is so this boy he ended up moving away i'd say his junior year so my sophomore year he ended up moving away and we always kept in contact you feel me we always kept in contact he ended up you know dealing with different girls i ended up dealing with different boys but the boy that i'm talking about is actually my boyfriend right now and we're about to be seven months strong on sunday so yeah i just it's really crazy to talk about how we met and how he was really my first high school crush like i would have never thought that i would have been with him at now but it really goes to show you that like it could be the right person but the wrong time and i feel like back then it was definitely the wrong time like i needed to go through everything i went through as far as maturing goes and learning about myself and everything like that for us to be together and for us to work and i feel like it's the same thing for him like he had to go through certain shit with his peoples and his girls the girls that he used to mess with to mature and you feel me that's what led us back together and now we're stronger than ever and every time i tell people our story they're like what the fuck so y'all that was your first high school boyfriend and y'all ended up breaking up and a whole bunch of madness happened but we we never the thing about me and him was we never stopped talking literally we never stopped talking ever ever we always kept in contact with each other but it would be like on and off contact you feel me so yeah i just thought that there was a really cute story and i feel like you guys should know about it and share it but this was just one out of many story times to come you guys trust me i got some crazy ass story times i'm just waiting to say it or tell it because i need to just get my thoughts together but yeah i got a whole bunch of crazy ass story times that i know you guys would love to hear so they're coming very very soon so look out for that and also look out for a freaking boyfriend tag i've been trying to get this boy to come do this boyfriend tag with me for the longest but he's talking about some oh wait till i get a shape of like all right you do it too much but all right it's like i understand where you're coming from but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching stay tuned for the next one <laughs>